Hi, I'm Victoria Best. I'm Vice Principal at a high school in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Uh, and I am here with a group of students. We are learning more about Cuban culture and music and working with students, local students. Our students are collaborating with Cuban students to learn more about their history and their culture and their music programs. I think during my time in Cuba, some of the experiences that stand out the most to me are watching our students interact. I've taken students out of the country several times and most of the time it's very passive. Um, they go places, they look at things, they hear about history, they hear about, you know, different monuments, museums and things. But here in Cuba they actually get to participate in all of those things. They get to meet the people and they actually get to learn about who Cubans are, how important culture is to them, and it's so wonderful to see just how much the arts and music are valued in this country. And for students like ours that are so interested in that, it's just, it's a wonderful thing. I think one of the, the biggest improvements that I've seen with my students here is to watch our students who speak English and no one speaks Spanish and then to see them work with students that only speak Spanish and to see that common language of music come together, to watch them improvise, to know that they can't communicate in any other language besides music uh, has been such a valuable experience for them. My name is Tina Gallant and I'm the music teacher at Coal Harbor District High School in Coal Harbor, Nova Scotia. And I am on my first Canada-Cuba tour. It's actually my first time to Cuba. And I brought 18 students from band and my vocal program. I'd say the parts that I've enjoyed the most would be the day that we went into the uh, music school. It's a specialized music school. And the students came, my students came with their instruments and some of them were singers. And we sat down and we had some performances and then the students got the ability to be able to get up and um, the experience to get up and to make music with the other Cuban students. And my students just lit up. And that for me, I think that whole experience from listening to the abilities of the Cuban students and as one of my students said, he kind of got schooled <laughs> because he, you know, he's very confident and, and comfortable as a player. And then he came and saw what's happening here and he was quite shocked at how phenomenally uh, talented but educated the students are and how dedicated they are to their studies. And that was something that I loved my students seeing, that um, they're unbelievably, I think they're going to take away how privileged they are, and yet in comparison, the amount of musicianship and uh, music that they're playing here in Cuba is, um, I would say much higher than what we have right now um, than we are able to make. So that would be one of the big things that I really enjoyed. Um, honestly, there's so many. The dancing, the uh, that was absolutely fantastic. All of the dancing, the Afro-Cuban dancers and, and learning all about um, those stories and costumes. Um, right now, the students are in with uh, new Cuban friends of theirs and they are having the time of their lives. They all kind of know how to salsa now, which is pretty cool too. My name is Jake Shepard. I'm from Eastern Passage, Nova Scotia. I go to Toll Harbor District High School in Toll Harbor, Nova Scotia. And me and a few music students are here in Cuba to learn about the vibrant Cuban culture and to get an idea of life here versus life at home. So this trip so far, we've been exploring both the musical aspect of Cuba and just the cultural aspect in general. My two favorite parts so far, the first one would be playing trumpet with the Cuban students in the conservatory school. That was a very, very eye-opening experience to show the passion and dedication of the Cuban students and how happy they are to play all the time. 
The next highlight would be what we're doing just right now over there is we're getting salsa dance lessons and we're getting an idea of African culture through dance and music, which is truly amazing. Okay, well, hello and hola. Um, I'm Amadi Simmons and I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia, and I'm here for the Coharver District High School Cupa trip. Um, a few of my favorite highlights from this trip had to be we went to this like eatery place and we got to sing and dance with the performers who were performing some jazz music. Um, my second is we visited a school here in Cuba and we got to see how they played their instruments, their music and like their vocals and they were amazing and again we got to sing and dance with them. Um, and my third favorite part of this trip is definitely the people. They're just so welcoming and loving and like it really does just feel like home. Um, these experiences has helped me improve as a singer because it made me really step out of my comfort zone a lot of the times. Cause like I'm kind of shy so like I was like no like I don't want to do this. But then they're like no like come, come, come join in the fun and then I did and like I really just experienced more culture and more ways of singing and it's just been amazing. All right, well, my name is Drake Kaiser. I go to Colorado District High School in Nova Scotia, and I'm here with our music class and some vocalists to see what Cuba's like and all the culture. Uh, it's helped me more as a musician because I've um, really learned, like, like, like I said, a, a lot of different rhythms. Like, there was sun, rumba, that kind of stuff. So it's like, I've never really heard those before. But then I, I could be able to put those into some music if I ever decide to work with like Latin, that kind of stuff. Hi, I'm Eris Snow. I'm from Nova Scotia, Canada, and I'm here for the Coal Harbor District High School music trip. I really love the architecture of the place. I love seeing the difference in the architecture. It's absolutely beautiful and how everything is still maintained. I think it's widened my experiences and my knowledge of different types of music so it will help me learn other music in the future if I ever needed to or wanted to. It's so worth it. There's so much to do. I wish I could do more and see more towns and neighborhoods and experience the different... There's so many people with talent here and you get to be immersed inside of it with them. They bring you into their culture and invite you and you get to do everything together. And it's so it's worth it. It really is. This trip, I think, can cover countless of our curriculum. I mean, it's all about you know going through the experiences, learning from others, learning about other cultures, different styles, performing with others, reflecting on performances. Um, being exposed to high quality music. I think certainly as, as an administrator being here, um, music is not my specialty, but to come with these students and see them as their vice principal, I, I couldn't ask for any better. Not to mention how we've been so welcomed, but the country itself has been so safe, everything has been so efficient, and the students have just actively participated in everything that we've done. Well, it's been an amazing trip thus far. We still have tomorrow. I look forward to everything that's about to come, and this trip has been the greatest experience of my life so far. I, I wish if you have the opportunity, you'd come here because it is truly amazing. If you ever get the chance to come on a trip like this, especially to Cuba, I have to say you should take it right away, like no questions asked. It is the most amazing thing I've ever experienced in, in my entire life, and I wouldn't change it for the world.